What is SAP Analytics Cloud? We will look at the course overview and we will also discuss who is this course for. Towards the end of the demo, we will look at a real-time use case by building a dashboard story on top of real data sets. And then finally, we will look at some of the frequently asked questions. So let's get started with this demo session with a quick introduction of what is SAP Analytics Cloud. So let's understand what is SAC or SAP Analytics Cloud. Let's take an example. We have a team member. His name is Steve. Steve is working as an IT professional with a multinational giant. The company has a requirement to develop analytics on top of the data which comes from different data sources. So it's a big company. It's a chain of hospitals which is operating across the globe. And there are so many data centers where the data of all these hospitals are getting collected. The requirement is Steve has to collect all this data together in one single system and build a beautiful analytical dashboard to give some insights to the management. The key goals are to allow to build this dashboard by combining the data from different data sources. And this dashboard should be available to the CEO of the company, even on the mobile and tablets. So that's the requirement which we have. Now let's look at what solutions Steve can use as an IT professional to be able to complete the requirement. The first option which Steve has to implement an on-premise system in his company. What is an on-premise system? An on-premise system means a solution which is installed into your own company's hardware. As a result of that, Steve's company needs to invest a lot on the hardware cost. And also, they need to hire security consultants to manage this hardware. Also, Steve's company need to buy the solution as a license of the solution for maybe multi-years. When it comes to scalability of such a solution, Steve's company upfront need to invest lots of money in order to achieve new systems and new hardware to scale up the system as company's operations expands. Whereas now the trending in the market is using a cloud solution. Now, what is a cloud solution? A cloud solution allows Steve to onboard with his requirement very quickly. There is no upfront investment at all because the solution is offered as a service in cloud. Another great advantage that the solution already enabled for mobile users anywhere, any platform, any browser, and any device. Since it's a native cloud solution, the implementation time is also very less because Steve can access this solution just by opening up a browser and start consuming it. Also, when it comes to the overall system setup and networking, it will be taken care by the solution provider or so-called service provider in this case. With this, you are able to compare the advantage of using a software as a service solution as compared to an on-premise solution which Steve's company need to implement. And that's where the definition of SAP Analytics Cloud comes into picture. So SAP Analytics Cloud is a software as a service connecting your people, data, and ideas from multiple sources to enable fast and confident decision making. It allows users to discover, visualize, plan, and predict all in one place. It's a offered as a cloud solution, which means your company, when they implement SAP Analytics Cloud, they don't have to buy hardware, like what we do when you implement a BW system, or for example, a BI or a business object system. 
Your company need to buy the hardware, buy the DVDs, pay the licensing fee for some period of time, and then use the solution in your company. Of course, they need to hire a lot of security, networking consultants to achieve the implementation over a long period of time. Instead of that, an SAP Analytics Cloud is a software as a service which allows Steve to onboard much faster and utilize the functionality without really worrying about the underlying implementation and security. With that, Steve will be able to build the dashboard really quick in the system and he can get started right from day one consuming this functionality in a pre-configured software as a service solution. And that's the main advantage of using SAP Analytics Cloud over on-premise based solutions like BI, SAP, Rombi, BW, or BobJ. And that's how Steve can also collaborate with his CEO of the company or the management to present this data even in a connected way so that contextual data is presented to the business user or the CEO of the company to take faster and confident decisions. So why not Steve to go for SAP Analytics Cloud? Definitely, it's a matter of choice. And this is what is most of the companies are doing these days, rather than implementing and buying hardware and implementing those on-prem based solutions, they can still use cloud solutions. Of course, there, is a, there are a lot of factors which depends. We are not saying that on-premise based solutions are completely deprecated, yet it's a, always a debatable topic, which is also one of the important topic in our course to debate and discuss in which case you should go with SAP Analytics Cloud or in which case you should continue to use your on-prem solutions. Our main agenda and focus is to understand this software as a service solution in this course. And let's look at now the detailed course content. What is that you would be learning throughout this course? So it will be an end-to-end -end single training, which will cover all your needs in terms of SAP Analytics Cloud learning. So first we will start with setup of SAP Analytics Cloud system. So as I mentioned, there is no setup required in your local machine. You don't have to buy any hardware. It's a software as a service. So you simply open the browser and start with your trial account in the system. We will learn fundamentals of SAP Analytics Cloud, its architecture, and also SAP Cloud Platform. Then we will learn lots of different scenarios because the entire training is based out of different scenarios and real-time examples along with the data will be provided to all of you to practice these examples then we will learn in phase two all the business intelligence feature of sap analytics cloud where we will learn about building stories using different available widgets in the system as i mentioned all the required data set will be provided as part of this training so you will not have any issue in terms of data to build your stories in phase three we will learn about planning feature of sap analytics cloud especially designed for financials expert who would be doing different kinds of planning in the company we will learn fundamental topics about what is a planning and then we will learn advanced features by the, by using the planning data model in sap analytics cloud which includes driver trees allocations distributions and many more features on planning then moving to phase four we will learn about digital boardroom how can you connect all the information coming from different departments and systems together to present in a contextual way to your board members or CEO, CEOs. How can you do that with the help of digital boardroom features of SAP Analytics Cloud? We will also learn one of the very powerful machine learning capability, which is embedded as part of SAP Analytics Cloud, including a smart predict, a smart insight, and smart discovery features in SAP Analytics Cloud. In phase five, we will discuss about prediction as well as analytical app designer.
So SAP Analytics Cloud brings machine learning to the business users without having too much of coding knowledge as well as algorithm knowledge, you will be able to utilize different machine learning algorithms, which includes regression, classification, and time series to be able to develop and give prediction to your data. Then we will also learn SAP Analytics Cloud Analytical Designer, which allows you to build end-to-end -end applications using SAP Analytics Cloud to take your insight into actions which helps your business to take quick and smart decisions on the go. We will learn powerful scripting capability features with the different APIs provided by SAC to talk to different layers of SAP Analytics Cloud. Finally, we will learn about live connections and SAC administration. Live collection connections allows you to fetch the data from different solutions. For example, SAP S4 HANA, BW and BPC, including the HANA database, which is running on SAP Cloud Platform. We'll talk about concepts of course filters. We'll discuss about SAP Cloud Connector and also SAP SAC Cloud Agent. So these are all the different things which will be required to be learned in order to connect a secure connection between your underlying ERP, BW, or BPC systems with SAP Analytics Cloud to fetch live data and consumes the models which are already built on top of your existing systems. So that's all in all. And finally, we will learn some part of administration, which includes security, data security, user management, and also making SAML um, enablement for your SAP Analytics Cloud. So let's get started. Who all can join this course? So anyone who is interested to learn SAP Analytics Cloud without any prerequisite, without any pre-technical knowledge can join this course. And the participant could be business users, those who are working like Steve as a business user in the company and want to build stories over the data if you have it. Then we have BW and BI consultants. We're already using Bob J tools uh, currently in your company and your company have recently taken SAC, SAC subscription now. So they want you to develop now the reports as well as the stories on SAC. You would be able to use that. Then Bob J consultants who are currently building dashboards on the live and acquired data can use SAC now to build the, those stories, responsive stories and applications on SAP Analytics Cloud. Then financial analysts who are currently doing planning and we have a very powerful solution in the classical world called BPC where you, all the plannings have been done, both the distributed and centralized. So here we'll learn about some core concepts of planning, including how can we achieve planning on acquired data model on SAP Analytics Cloud. And then, of course, business analysts and data scientists who, are, who want to utilize the power of predictive capabilities which SAP Analytics Cloud offers will be able to use that through this course. So we learn all three types of predictive scenarios which is offered by SAC, which includes regression, time series, and classification with real-time examples. And finally, application developers who are working as an ABAP or S4 HANA, BW consultants today in the company and your company is asking you now to develop complex scripting based analytical apps with which user can take insight to action. And that's where we have SAP Analytics Designer, a powerful uh, complementary tool comes along with the SAP SAC, which will allow you to develop applications using scripting capabilities. So anybody who's interested can join. Please note, there is no prerequisite to join this course. Anyone who's working on any of these areas, it's relevant, yet it depends completely on your interest. If you're willing to take a journey through about SAP Analytics Cloud, you can definitely do that without any prior experience or without any prerequisites. So let's see what we have got today in the demo. So today in the demo session, we will start with the loading some test data with our use case and our use case for Steve is to we have received last nine years of hospital bed data 
in United States of all the different county hospitals and we would like to prepare now a dashboard for the same so that is going to be our step one we will be analyzing the data we will be loading the data to SAP Analytics Cloud in step two we will learn how to create model after wrangling so wrangling means processing on the data so SAP Analytics Cloud offers a lot of features with which you can play around with the data you can do transformations you can do replacements deletions combinations and different complex formulas you can apply and all of that comes under wrangling so we will be enriching the data in this case with the geo axis which is called spatial axis and then finally we will build a dashboard or a story on top of this data now it is mandatory to create a data model before we start using our data in any story or any dashboard. So model is nothing but your foundation for any story which contains the, the processed data which is finally usable by the stories. Now we need to show all the states on the geo map and then display the total number of beds in each county or hospital and then also display the, the breakup um, of the beds on year on year basis in each of the hospital so that's a kind of a drill down we will be seeing in our scenario uh, first of all let's see our expected result so this is going to be our expected result how it is going to look like so you can see on the left hand side we've got a map where it's showcasing all the states and based on the amount of population we have in each of the state you can see the circle size is being determined accordingly so higher the population in a particular state bigger the size of the circle and then on the right side here you see uh, the beds per county are being projected and when you click on one of the county for example then it is showing you the types of beds which are which are broken down like icu bed or uh, or normal bed or ventilators uh, enabled bed or oxygen enabled beds those those breakups are coming per year you see 2018 19 and 20 how the hospital is adding up the beds uh, with, with respect to the the particular county so this is going to be our expected result we will be working on so since now you understood the requirement let's understand the easy steps to follow through and complete this requirement as i mentioned most of our uh, our sessions will be practical scenario based with real data now one important thing we wanted to highlight here with Anubo trainings today you may see lots of material on the internet it's 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 flooded with a lot of material on sap analytics cloud but the biggest problem there is no single course which gives you an end-to-end -end flow of everything with the right sequence so if you go to youtube or maybe different channels you will see a lot of people talking about SAP Analytics Cloud, but there is not a single place where I can start in a, in a more sequential manner with more complicated real-time re, uh, use cases step by step in the system. So that's something which is today lacking, and that's the gap we wanted to fill with Anubo trainings for you. This single course is an all-in-one package which is going to complete all the important capabilities which SAC offers with real-time examples. And these examples are built by so much of hard work done behind the scene over months to bring you the best and make you understand all the concepts of SAC. So let's understand for our today's use case, what are all the steps we're gonna follow to complete that. So first we're gonna understand the requirement. So we understood that already. What is that is needed as you saw already a snapshot of what is expected then the step two is to collect the data so steve has to which is our business user or the technical consultant has to collect the data from all the data sources which is also done already i've done it for you and then the next step is to upload this data to sap analytics cloud once the data is uploaded we are going to wrangle the data and do the blending blending is like mixing up sometime you have data across multiple data models or data sources you're going to combine them with a common key like foreign key relationship which you have in the systems and then that's how you're going to blend the data together to bring it in a shape which can be then consumed by your stories
and then we will have prepared story so in the prepared story uh, we will be creating our widgets like in this example you saw we will be creating a chart um, we will be creating a geo map and also we will be creating a set of pie charts to show the breakup of different kinds of bets over years so that's what we will be doing and then finally we will be doing a little bit of styling on our our report to make it look beautiful and publish it for the end user for collaboration. So that's going to be our six step process today's demo. We are going to work on this real time use case. So let me first take you through the system and show you the, the data which we have collected. So I've got this data collected from a county website. And this is the data, what you can see each of the hospital uh, data in different county. So you can see here the country is US always by default for all records. I have then the state data and then we have the county, uh, the hospital uh, in that particular county area. And then we have latitude and longitude of the states. Now, together with that, you see the type of the beds which are available in each county and the, you can see there are uh, there are number of beds. So this is currently observed with a unit called 1000 habitant um, uh, beds, number of beds per 1000 habitants. That's the measurement unit right now, which means, for example, it's 2.18, which means there are uh, 2.18 um, acute beds available in this particular county uh, for the available population for 1000 per habitant so if i just wanted to quickly calculate the number of beds it's going to be um, my total population multiplied by uh, the number of beds in the hab unit divided by 1000 that's my formula which i apply to get the number of acute beds in the system so you can see this is how we can get the number of beds so that's just a quick formula I'll, why am i showing this is because uh, you need to understand the data first before you really get in into any use case. So what I have seen most of the time, the trainings which we uh, which we observe on SAP Analytics Cloud, the trainer doesn't tend to explain the data set and they directly start building stories. But that won't happen with us with the Nubo trainings. We're going to explain you the data first what the data is, how it is represented, what exactly the significance for the business for this data, and also, of course, fundamentals, like, for example, when we go to planning, what does allocation means? What does variance means? Yeah, how, what does a value driver tree? What are all the uh, factors which influence my balance sheet in a financial planning? So those fundamental topics, like for example, when you start SAC, you need to know what is SAP Cloud Platform, uh, what exactly happening behind the scene, uh, what is a live data connection, what is an acquired data model. So we need to understand these terminologies. We need to understand these basics, which is kind of currently, I when I was learning SAC, I was kind of uh, very confused with these terminologies. And when I study hard to find out all the material available and, and, and then blending through this, uh, we have built a very strong understanding. And that's what we're going to share it with you throughout this course. You're going to learn it with these real time powerful use cases to understand the business, the use cases and what to do in each kind of use case, how to address that particular use case with what different requirements. So that's what we're going to do that guys. So let's get started. So that's our data set. Now we know this, uh, what data we have. I'm going to go back, switch over to the system. So this is our SAP Analytics Cloud system. We're going to start with a new story right away on this data set. So today what I'm going to do is just drag my data set and drop it to the browser. And here I'll say prepare my data set. So what system is now doing, it's just uploading this data onto SAP Analytics Cloud for me to start doing a blending as well as data wrangling and then we can start building the story on top of this data. So first we will have the data which is uploaded and this is what is called acquired data set. Of course, we also have live data set connections, which we're going to learn in unit number, uh, unit number 15. But today we will have a acquired data set thing. So now you can see it has loaded almost all records. And this is where we can start our data wrangling. For example, now with this latitude and longitude, I would like to pre prepare an, another geospatial column. A geospatial column is, is mandatory to 
project a coordinate on a map on a geo map so that's why it's it's a mandatory column so i'm going to do the geospatial uh, column enablement in this data set by just clicking on these two um, columns so i select them and now i'm going to say map and i will say coordinates and we're going to add here let's say for example location and i will choose my latitude and longitude coordinates yeah so this is very important i'll click on okay and now you will see a new column called location will be introduced in the system which is showcasing our geospatial data nice so that's this is one simple example as this is just a demo session i will not be able to show more types of transformation as well as data wrangling options but there are a lot of them we're going to explore explore them in our unit number 3 but let's get started with this one so i've got my location now over here and i can also check here the quality of my data set so you can see here uh, there are 275 entries with the same a uh, geo coordinate and how this will be now semantically represented on the map semantically means for example this coordinate belongs to what is it belonging to county or is it belonging to country or is it belonging to the state so here if you observe this is basically state coordinates so i'm going to say description is going to be represented for these coordinates as a state so we just do that now we're done we have just kind of did a basic relationship over here and you can also do a lot of dif different features as you can see on the top we can explore all of them including the concepts of hierarchy there are two types of them parent child and level based we will understand the difference and create all these kinds of operations and transformation including data wrangling and data blending but for now this is it we have we prepared our data and now we'll switch on over to the story now what i would recommend at this point is to just fire a blank save just to you know just in case your internet go connection goes away or something goes uh, goes wrong your your data set which you uploaded uh, should not get compromised so it's better to immediately fire a save on our story and we're going to save it in our system with a name something which is more meaningful so i'm going to say story underscore um hospital data hospital beds usa and we can click on okay so as part of our training blog i am going to also share all the data sets with you so whatever examples and scenarios which i am showcasing you in the course you guys can try those things up yourself so let me delete this panel i don't need the left side panel i can just delete that for now and i can also delete the description section and now we have got an empty canvas to start painting yeah so let's quickly include a geo map so I click on plus and add a geo map over here and you can see we've got a beautiful geo map added and now it's time to provide this geo map something called a layer a layer identifies uh what coordinates to project on the screen so i'm going to add a bubble layer to indicate my coordinates as a bubble so let's click on add layer and add a location dimension and choose location here and you would see quickly set of bubbles are now being marked here for each of the state out there in usa now what we also do is we will just mention that we want our size of the bubble as per the population in the each of the state so bigger the bubble is higher the population in that state so i'm going to just do that and you can see now here it's showcasing you that which state has the higher population as per the size of the bubble you can also do that population color coding uh the state which has high population will be showed in a different color as compared to the one which has the lower population so you can see we we can choose all these things we can also now go back and uh, change the coloring uh, color code for the bubbles you can see there are different color panel palettes to choose from you can also increase the opacity and decrease the opacity for these bubbles for example i just keep it like this so now that's the first part so as you know our requirement first was to uh, detect all the states with their population is done now you can also go ahead and choose different types of geo maps 
for that i will go to the okay and again i can here choose different variety of um, of uh, maps so maybe i go with the transparent gray dark gray one just select that and you would see quickly my map will change to a little dark gray one i can also go ahead and now see the data being projected for the usa more closely in the system that's nice so our first geo map is done just keep saving your story you can also create more pages in the story we can probably go back and just rename this page over here uh, let's say bed analysis click on okay and now what i will do next is i will add on the right hand side uh, each county as per the number of beds so for that what we will do is we will go ahead and add a chart click on plus and you can see a chart has come up so of course when you add a chart you should have dimensions and measures measures are your numeric properties and dimensions are your uh, attributes against which you are um, you're observing the patterns okay so we will go with the comparison chart maybe i will keep the the same one as a bar chart and now i will add my measure and this time it's going to be a calculated measure because we want to represent exact number of beds and as you just saw when i was showing the data set the number of beds is something we had to calculate because the beds in my data was uh, uh, per 1000 inhabitants um, as a measure so i have to calculate the number of beds actually with a calculation so i can say add a calculation and we can choose a calculated measure and we can say number of beds and this is going to be uh, basically my population multiplied by beds divide by 1000 so that's the formula we can add more complicated and complex formulas when it comes to sap analytics cloud we we are going to have a lot of discussion around these different options which are there in the formula now can click on okay for now and this is what shows you here the number of total beds in entire usa but we wanted to see it based on different counties so we can add dimension as counties and now you will see the number of beds per county so it's by default uh, sorting this up in descending order we can also come back and change the color coding here depending on what you think you would like to be or you can have also the same color for all the bars so you can just do that like this so now that's about the number of beds the next uh, requirement was for each of the bed um, uh, each of the county we have to show the breakup how in that particular county uh, the number of beds have been broken down over years so for that i'm going to add another chart and this time i'm going to go with the pie chart so i'll go with the pie chart and i will add the measure again as number of beds which i've just calculated or we can also go by bed because we want to do it in percentage or you can also go with number of beds and in the dimension here you're going to add it based on the type so please tell me based on different types whether it is icu acute um, or psychiatric or other type of beds and now it shows me a pie chart uh, which is showcasing a breakup of number of beds in that particular county so you can see this is currently showing it for entire country but of course we have to uh, do a kind of a drill down configuration to be able to see the number of beds only in in the selected county so we're going to do that uh, analysis in a moment but before that if you observe the requirement was to showcase the breakup of uh, beds over years rather than just showing a total number so what we are going to do now is we are going to add in another interesting and amazing feature which sap uh, analytics cloud offers is called trellis so i'm going to select this one and i'm going to add over here uh, something called a trellis and then i will give my trellis dimension as um, something called um, eo you can see here eo and we this is a actually hierarchy and now maybe i just expand the hierarchy to level two 
which is number of years. And voila, you see over here on the system, it's now showing 2012, 13, and so on, in the breakup of number of beds in multiple pie charts over uh, last uh, eight years or nine years data, whatever we have in our data set. So this is the beauty, this kind of uh, capability SAP Analytics Cloud does offer to us when it comes to building advanced analytics. So let me also expand a little bit our chart sizes. And now it's time that we do the breakdown depending on the selection. So first breakdown, what I want to do is based on selection of state. So what I want is whenever user select a state, I want to uh, show all the county in that state. So I want to only show the number of beds uh, related to that selected state county. So I will go back and activate something called a linked analysis. So we're going to have a lot of discussion about this in our chapter number five in the course. So I will say, hey, whenever somebody select a data point, um, uh, one of the state, what you do is just um, uh, just filter my data in this uh, bar chart. So in my bed per county, uh, just filter that. And this should be done on selection of a data point. So whenever I select a data point, please uh, do the linked analysis and show me only the counties for that state, selected state, and show me those number of beds out there. Click on apply. And similar kind of linked analysis, I'll do it on, on our chart. Whenever users select a particular county, show me how that, that county is num adding the number of beds over the years. So just do a linked analysis on the, on the bar chart now. And again, uh, just say only on selected widgets on data point selection. And please update my pie chart playlist with the, uh, over the years, how that particular county is adding the hospitals. So with that, we're done. We just quickly save our story. And now it's time that we quickly go back and view the results. So click on view mode. And now you see we are in the view mode. So first of all, I'm going to select maybe taxes. So let me go and select the data point taxes. And you see here in my, uh, in my chart, it's showing all the counties uh, within the taxes and showing the number of beds within this. You can also apply more runtime filtering here on this, on this, on this data. So for example, I can go and uh, do do a lot of filtering and a uh, lot of capabilities, uh, which I can I can do that. We're going to discuss all of these. Uh, for example, ranking to show only the top five or bottom five. So just do that, and now you see it only shows me top five counties, uh, which are having uh, you know more number of beds. So within taxes, now we have these top five counties. Now, for example, I select one of the county. Uh, for that particular county, now you can see they have only added bed in 2017 and 19. In 2017, they had beds for uh, acute, uh, for uh, psychiatric, as well as for other. But they had no ICU beds in 2017. But in 2019, they have added 100% of the capacity of beds, about 924 beds were added as ICU beds uh, probably uh, in 2019. So likewise, you can do multiple drill downs when it comes to um, your data point selection. As you can see in the system, more data points I select, the data is changing on fly at runtime. This is the kind of capability SAP Analytics Cloud do offer uh, when it comes to drilling down to the data. And there are, there's a lot more. This is just a basic demo, which I'm showing you today. Uh, of course, we're going to do a lot when we go to the actual course. Now, last part is do the styling. So if you see the, the expected outcome was something with a blue color background. So how I'm going, I'm going to do that. Uh, and also we can, we can change the labels here, population in USA. And uh, we can just do that. So I can come back and quickly change labels. Population per state in United States. And now what I will do is just select this panel, add styling, and we can just choose the styling as an image. And I can just quickly go ahead and grab an image from my computer. So let me quickly upload an image in my from my computer to my report report. And I can just select and add that over here. Just say insert and we are done. So we say, please cover up the whole page with this uh, image. And now you've got uh, the beautification. We can also go and change quickly uh, the coloring for my 
for my bar chart so we can also come here and say please show as orange we can also change the font size as well so you can see how beautiful it looks same thing i will apply for this guy so we're going to explore a lot of styling options which sap analytics cloud do provide us stay tuned uh, we, we have a lot of actions when it comes to styling which you can do to make your dashboards more attractive and usable and consumable by your end users so that's our data i hope um, this was helpful you got a first idea of how can you use sap analytics cloud to build the dashboards using uh, the data set but of course that's not all sap analytics cloud offer it offers a lot lot more functionality as compared to what i showed you in the demo since we have a limited time in the demo i could only show you one simple example but it's flooded with lots of functionality which we are going to learn including planning analytic designer and prediction with the machine learning bringing to the end user that's the main power of this analytics cloud so let's quickly have a look at now some of the frequently asked questions as you might have um, you know asked these questions to us in the past so i have collected all of them on this final slide before we wrap up this demo so is there any prerequisite to learn this course definitely not with anubo trainings zero prerequisite we will cover all of the prerequisites you need to know which includes fundamentals of cloud platform basics of bw analytics bi database hana and s4 hana introduction this is all on the time basis need basis we will be including as part of the course you can start this course without any prior knowledge of anything yes of course it's recommended to have basic idea of sap but other than that there is no other prerequisites when it comes to this course what are all covered in this course we will be covering all the pillars the four pillars of sac which includes bi planning predictive and designer including digital boardroom live connection and administration all of this as i mentioned all in one in single package single course so you don't need to run away or run through any of the other material and don't get confused with material on the internet it it is all in well organized way in a, in a well planned sequence we will be covering uh, where do i practice what about server access so sap offers a free trial for sac in our next session i will show you how to set up your own free trial and you, you good news is now they are also offering now the planning capabilities so which means you can also uh, try out all the most of the planning capabilities as part of sac in this course so with the trial itself so will you show the live data connection if yes uh, which are all the systems will you cover so yes i will show you live data connection with s4 bw bpc and sap hana in cloud all of this will be covered as part of the course how do i enroll for the course and what's the duration the total duration is 40 hours 40 and you can email us on install.abap at gmail.com to subscribe for this course where can i find the detail course content for this course so you can go to our course page on anubo training slash sap analytics cloud training and that's where you can find out and grab the detailed course content on sac will i get also the study material yes i will guide you through the all the study material uh, where on the need basis where you can read more about each of the topic but more importantly all the study material is like what i showed you a slide i will be writing it front of you in the slide and then this slide will be shared with you and of course different links and the study material sources will be shared where you can grab the material yourself now is the training real time yes we are going to cover all the real time scenarios including different case studies exercises and this is all scenario oriented training what about sac certification so please note this course is designed by keeping in mind sac certification topics the flow and the break up of the course is also according to that so we will also help you uh, to write the certification exam of course we do, ourselves don't offer that it's offered by sap so we will help you how to um, go for learning hub subscription and then 
what is the exam code and and some of the tips to crack the certification exam can i also attend the course in video mode in case i miss a class yes of course we have both modes available video and live so you can of course attend um, in case you missed a live session you can watch the video later point of time for this course so with that i guess we are done for more details feel free to visit us on anubavtrainings.com and thank you so much for your time today attending this demo session live with me on youtube and i hope to see you joining our course is starting today from the next class on words we'll start our next class topic would be setting up your sap analytics cloud environment with that thank you so much feel free to email us on install.abap at gmail.com to join this course thank you so much and i will see you in the next class Hello and welcome everyone to the demo session on SAP Analytics Cloud Training with me Anubhav. In this demo session live on YouTube, we will discuss about the basic introduction of what is SAP Analytics Cloud. We will look at the course overview and we will also discuss who is this course for. Towards the end of the demo, we will look at a real-time use case by building